<coughs> Some of our lonely folks got numbers in them. One time we call them, it's when we having a bad. Uh -huh. <coughs> Paul says it's better to marry than to burn. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, 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 and that's what I'm going to throw at you. From Sunday to Sunday, death is real. Yes. And after death is either heaven or hell. Yes. And sin will get you caught up that you blinded to tomorrow because you're only concerned with today. Mm. So, 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 so David goes through this. So let me conclude this thing. David, David, David calls but Joe Edmund, Uriah comes back and Dave asks, how you doing, Uriah? Uriah's like, you know, we, we doing what we do. And ain't it interesting when you fall in, even someone that doesn't have your position or your anointing can look so much bigger than you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I just want to deal with that for a minute. I don't even get to preach because I do want to preach. I got I, Uriah is just a soldier. Yeah. We don't know what rank he has. David is the king. Yeah. Yeah. David is the general of the army of the Lord. Mm. David's got all the wealth and the substance, but because he's fallen in a sin, this big man with this big position is now looking up to this little guy. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say your position does not define your righteousness. All right. Yes. Because Uriah was righteous, he stood tall amongst David. Yes. And when David had fallen and when David was victimized by the consequences of sin, David is looking up to a man that if he was right, he would look down to. Not down on, but down to. Yes. Sin will have you looking up to folks you should be looking down to. Yes. 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 Amen. Uriah shows his righteousness. <laughs> Anybody in here dealing with some folks bigger than you, mm -hmm. more positioned than you, <laughs> but they don't know how to handle their position. Mm -hmm. right. Don't don't know how to keep they cool. Mm -hmm. Don't realize that two verses after that. 15th verse of James chapter 1, James says that every good and perfect gift comes from above. From the Father of lights with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow yes. of turning. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm not sad because God didn't make me the boss. And I'm not sad because I'm not the king. Come on. But I, I, I'm glad because I got my righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. When I get back to that 51st Psalm, David said, I'm sorry. David said, purge me. David said, help me. David said, show mercy on me. But David said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Yeah. When you yeah. fall in sin, your position can't pick you up. When you fall in sin, your stature can't pick you up. When you fall in sin, your money can't pick you up. When you fall in sin, your friends can't pick you up. When you fall in sin, what you get by with can't pick you up. Only the Lord restore it to you the joy of your salvation. If you go down a little bit further, David said, If you restore unto me the joy of my salvation, I will teach the transgressors of thy ways. Don't you know that as long as you locked up in sin. You can't tell nobody to get right. You can't teach nobody to get right. You can't preach to nobody to get right because you got to get yourself right. Get yourself right with the Lord. I'm here to tell you that your body was silent but now begin to speak. That body that didn't want to read the word will now begin to look. And I tell you that those that didn't want to sing will begin to get in the choir. I don't know about you, but there's something about being right. When I lay down at night, I ain't scared to read. When I get up in the morning, I ain't scared to say thank you. I ain't scared to come to church every Sunday. Lift my hands. I ain't sitting back there in depression. I ain't sitting on the front row scared. I ain't worried about somebody finding out my sin. The joy of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for cleansing me. Something about a man named 
Jesus 2,000 years ago. Yes, he did great miracles. Yes, he walked on water. Yes, he gave sight to the blind. Yes, he uh, healed with his hands. Yeah, he fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. But he died on a cross on Calvary's hill. And the blood came streaming down. Some of that blood cleansed my lies. Some of that blood cleansed my anger. Some of that blood cleansed my bad parents' seals. Some of that blood cleansed my mouth. Some of that blood cleansed my mind. I'm coming for you no matter what road you sit on. Some of that blood cleansed my bad habits. Some of that blood cleansed my don't want to do. Some of that blood cleansed my evil and wickedness. But I'm glad that the blood of Jesus. Jesus came streaming down Calvary's hill. Somebody said, what could wash away my sin? He went to Walmart, got some laundry detergent, and he scrubbed his body. He smelled like detergent, but his soul was still black and dark. He went and got him some laundry detergent. Then he went and got him some dishwashing liquid. He was all soapy and sudsy on the outside, but he was real messed up on the inside. He came the church and the preacher said, Jesus blood. I said, Jesus blood. I said, Jesus blood can wash away the sins of the world. What some does to the outside, the blood of Jesus does to the inside. So David says, have mercy on me. By what standard? Shall you have mercy on me according to the law? Shall you have mercy on me according to the commandments? Shall you have mercy on me according to how you treated others? No, David says, have mercy on me according to thy love and kindness. He's a loving God according to John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I've been living a while. I'm getting kind of old, but I want that everlasting life. I want that life where God gonna wipe away tears from my eyes. I want that life where there'll be no more sickness. I want that life where there'll be no more pain. I want that life where we won't need the sun to shine. Cause God will be our light. I want that life where they'll give me my crown. I want that life where I'll put on a white robe. I want that life where I can't sing now. But when corruption put on incorruption, I will sing in heaven. I'll give him glory in the morning. Give him glory in the evening. Give him glory at night. I might wake up an angel. The angel will look up to me. Say, what you want, Wayne Life? I just wanted to tell you he's alright. Tell your neighbor. He's alright. And say, Angel, you better get up. They say, what you want, Lot? We trying to get some rest. I just had to tell somebody, Jesus didn't give up on me. He should have left me. He shouldn't have picked me up. But he did. There was a time I didn't think I was going to make it. But this been one of the worst months of my life. Jesus. I thought it was going to be a different year in 2011. But some of them demons from 2010 showed up. Yeah. I thought 2011 was a year of my breakthrough. But it looked like the devil done broke back in. Can I tell somebody that it ain't about what you're going through. It's about where you're going to. And the devil sees you getting closer. The 
devil sees you getting nearer. The devil sees you getting stronger. So he brings up the enemies from your past. And because you don't believe you delivered, because you don't know that you delivered, them last experiences start seeming fresh again. But can I tell somebody, if any man be in Christ, he is a new, he is a new creature. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. But can I get about three people that know God been good to you? Can I get about three people? If you don't want to, just stay in this season. This ain't no mandatory request. I need somebody that knows what they know. He's been good to me that I've been to myself. Somebody knows you should have gave up on me. Somebody knows he's a good guy. Somebody knows that he's a healing God. Somebody knows he's a delivering God. As crazy as I am, he's a merciful God. Can I say thank you, Lord? Just begin to worship him. Just begin to say thank you, Jesus. Just begin to worship him. Oh, your back hurt from holding that shield. What's the good fight of fight? 